<laughs> it's it's been a while since I've done a proper video. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The whole reason for that is because I've been obsessed with Valorant for like the last month. Uh, so yeah, that 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 is that. But um, I'm back on top of things, and I've got this video out for you guys. And I have this fan art feature segment at the beginning being a little longer than usual because I missed the fan art feature segments for the last two videos. But um, I also have an announcement for the winner of the Halloween Butters fan art or the Spooky Butter Contest. The concept that won for, like, the actual stills was for my friend Gary, so he obviously can't win the prize, because I, I know him, that wouldn't be fair to you guys. But, uh, I have the winner for the actual art right here. So there was three submissions that I had to pick from, essentially, and it was these three. These were the three best, in my opinion, and the winner was this one right here. So I will be contacting the artist of this and sending them their signed merch. So I'm sure you're all more than familiar with who Butch Hartman is, the one who created Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents. A lot of people look up to him and have looked up to him because he made their childhood. It's a shame because... It appears that that fame and that novelty has completely gone to his head. Now, why would I say that? Oh, possibly because of his $200 commissions. These either come out looking absolutely fucking horrible, like a five-year-old drew them with fucking marker, or they end up looking somewhat decent but are ruined by simple things. <coughs> not to mention the various stream clips where he talks down to people for not being cartoonists saying that they can't criticize him because he's a cartoonist and they're not. Uh, I just want to tell uh, all people like that, as I get back to safety here, that if you guys can't do it yourselves, you shouldn't criticize anybody else. You really shouldn't. To answer questions from people who've never done anything and then they want to criticize, I, I just, it's, it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. It's like, really? That's your question? So it's, it's, it's quite amusing, actually. But also the fact that he... Ch <laughs> He changed his profile picture because people said it made him look like a douchebag, and he made it look worse. So let's take a look at some of these commissions that are apparently worth $200. Let's start with this one. Wow, Butch, you really are talented. That's the most amazing piece of art I've ever seen. And then there's this one of Ranma. Oh, hey, this one's actually pretty good. God damn it. This explains quite a bit. As you can see with literally every single one we look at, they all have one thing in common. They either look good because they were heavily referenced or possibly even traced, or they just look completely ugly. The style looks awful and the color choices are terrible, along with the backgrounds, which are like really weak smear tooled backgrounds, as if he couldn't have put a little more effort in for the $200 that the person is paying. Which, just because you're a famous cartoonist doesn't mean you can charge people for crap. How about this one? I call it bold and bright. More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> and I'm sure this is old news because you guys have probably already heard about this since it was two years ago when he did it, but Butch Hartman released a Kickstarter for something called Oasis Entertainment, and what it was supposed to be was a streaming service, but not just any streaming service, a streaming service for his cartoons that he'd produce that would be Christian. Yeah. In an oversaturated market where barely anyone cares about specific streaming services anymore, you are going to fund a full service and cartoons for it, Butch. I gotta hand it to you, that's a fucking hefty dream. And who knows, maybe you could've pulled it off. Never mind.